All right, DaVinci Resolve 19 just updated. And there is one feature that I was very excited to see and test out. So we're gonna look at it right now. It's, it's gonna be called Fusion Reference Compositions. And if we take a look at what that means inside the documentation, we have reference fusion compositions, and this allows us to create a clip based on a bunch of stack layers that is its own fusion clip and references all these different layers on the timeline here without having them be stuck inside a fusion clip. So this is just nicer for working with the timeline, having all the individual effects have their own fusion as well as having a combined fusion with all of them. So that is what we're going to be testing out. And so if we go over here, I see I've stacked my timelines like this. Just I want to have a little bit of overflow over here. The reference composition is always made on the highest most clip that is here. And I kind of don't want to do that because then it will kind of replace whatever fusion is on this, or at least there will be some sort of conflict where I don't know what is what. So my solution for this is to just add another either fusion composition or just a clip on top of it. So I'm going to show you that right now, but first I'm going to make a bin for it. So let's just go over here in the master bin. And then let's right click it, do so new bin, and let's call it reference. Okay. All right, open that up. And then I'm going to go and add a adjustment clip or a fusion composition. Doesn't really matter at this point right here. And I'm just going to have it right above here and right above there. So wherever the footage is in a reference fusion composition you want, I want that the uh, this clip right here to be on top of it. And this is going to be basically our marker for where this reference fusion composition is going to be. Now, if we try to make a reference fusion composition right now, if we highlight this, right click it, you can see we cannot create the reference fusion composition because this is actually an adjustment clip. Easy fix for this is just creating this as a compound clip. I want to name this like reference one. And then we can now highlight all this, right click it, and now create our reference composition. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it that. And now it pops up in our bin over here. So that we can also find it and activate it. So right now, if we go into this fusion up here, it will open the reference composition for that. So that's why I have that clip there rather than doing it on this clip, because then if we go into fusion for that, it will be that re reference composition. So this is nicer. All right. But now we go into here and you can see we have our backgrounds, the background here, and then we have all of our different layers here, especially the ones that are empty. So what I would do here is just all these ones I would disable with control P for peach. And then we have just our two uh, media ins. This is going to be our first layer and this will be our second layer. I don't know why they order it in the wrong way, but that is that's how it's going to be. So I'm just going to remove this over here, or at least not delete, but put them over there so we don't have to worry about them. So this is going to be our second layer. This is going to be our first layer. So now we have them all connected like this. We're going to connect this to our media out. And now we can do whatever we want. Say let's do a limbo fade. So we just going to take this right here and we want to fade, make a little fade. We're just going to fade this clip here. So this is our first clip. This is our second clip. So we need to fade this on top of it. So we need to add a little here, here, and then add that. And then we can just create an animation. We want this all the way to be down. This would do that in the reviewer so we can see what's happening. So that, this is the other way like that. So now it doesn't exist. And then we can go to the end and make sure it does exist and bring it up all the way like that. And let's just say I'm going to make a quick animation real quick. Let's just do an ease copy. If you don't know about this, you should look at my video about this. Here, let's just make a graph that is something like this. So if we look at it, it's just a graph like that. Those are where the handle positions are. And then we can have something like this, or maybe we want a different type of animation. Let's do like a S graph like that. So now we have something like this. For the Luma fades, I might actually move the just offset it just by one. So it goes like that. And so now we have a little bit of a nicer fade like that. Maybe even blur this a little bit. All right. But now we have our Luma fade. And that is all done in the reference composition. And that is above whatever is on the timeline. So we have whatever effect that we would usually put on this clip. And then we have to like imagine whatever is under here, the, how it matches up. You just do that nicely in our reference composition. It houses that there and we don't have to touch it. So yeah, that is just the nice way of doing it. But make sure once you make your reference composition that you keep it in the same layer in the same place. Once you move it, say if we move this up, then it starts to mess up and see now the original clip is the bottom one there. And now this one is transparent. So just make sure you do that. It has a nice reminder on there. If it needs to be on layer six, as you can see, a little bit six. And so yeah, that is how you use it. I, I guess it would be easier if you just put it on to this layer or these two right here, and then it would be nicer to use, but I did on six. But yeah, that is basically how you use a reference fusion composition. And I will be using this a lot more, especially because I can access both layers. All right.